breaking news, Nigerians. Some protesters had stormed the government's house, Kaduna State, to demand the probe and the arrest of Malam Nasa Erufai, the immediate past governor of the state. The Kaduna State House of Assembly had recommended the probe of the former governor of the state, Nasa Erufai, for abuse of office and money laundering. And the recommendation was given by the Advocate Committee set up by the House of Assembly, mandating the investigation of all finances, loans and contracts awarded under Nasa Erufai's government. With the chairman of the Advocate Committee, Mr. Henry, Henry, who had presented the report during the plenary on Wednesday, stated that the majority of the loans obtained during Erufai's administration were not used for the purpose of which they were obtained, and in that some cases due process w was not followed in obtaining these loans. And receiving the reports, Yusuf Liman, Speaker of the Kaduna House of Assembly, has stated that Erufai's administration had siphoned a total of 423 billion naira, leaving the state with massive liabilities. However, we started seeing some protesters under the ESPs of the Kaduna Citizens Watch for Good Governance. They protested and asked Senator Ubar Sani, the, the incumbent governor of Kaduna State, to probe Erufai. The group had urged him to invite officials of the Economic and the Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and other relevant authorities and agencies to arrest and prosecute Erufai over his administration's indictment to the tune of 423 billion. These protesters had sang solidarity songs just as they displayed power cards with different inscriptions, and some of these inscriptions are noted that they will occupy all the MDAs to chase out all the all the indicated persons in the report, and the the Kaduna government should stop servicing all loans that did not follow due process before they were obtained. And guys, the chairman of the group, Comrade Victor, while addressing journalists at the Kanoda government house, had called upon Governor Obasani to implement relevant sections of the report that falls under his preview and officially forward the findings of the committee report to relevant anti-corruption agencies to enable them to swing into actions and discover the state resources at their disposal. And it is quite disturbing that Erufai's administration had siphoned this huge amount of money and as concerned citizens they won't just fold their arms and watch their states go down as a result of merciless looting from their past leaders and they've been the strongest term condemned all these happenings and this has really widened the poverty gap in the state as a result of Erufai's siphoning of this huge amount of money borrowing loans now these loans are not even you know accounted for they were not accounted for and they had commended Governor Bassani to, you know, for holding on the ideas of democracy as he worked for by not interfering in the activities of the Kaduna State House as many people had expected him to stop the legislative arm of government from doing their work just as it was done in the past. So they have commended the Kaduna State House of Assembly for the thorough work in unraveling the financial atrocities committed against the Kaduna people by Erufai's administration. And despite blackmails, despite threats coming from the beneficiaries of this political haste, they have commended the Kaduna State House of Assembly for remaining uh, transparent, for also holding on to the law. And they've called on Obaseni, the governor of the state, to implement relevant uh, sections of the report that falls under his review. Now, They've assured the governor of their maximum support and they are quite aware that those who were behind all these evils in the states, the looting, the siphoning of money, the money embezzlement, corruption here and there, they ought to be behind bars for looting the state. They ought to be behind bars. But now it seems that these guys have so much effrontery to an extent that they start dishing out threats to people. I mean, in the state. So they have therefore called on security agencies to immediately lead the arrest and to prosecute the former governor, Nasser Erufai, 
and those he has incited to bring down the government of Senator Obaseni. And now at this point, they have made their call to the governor of the state. So my country people, these protesters who had been trekking at about 11 a.m. from the UTC bus stop leading to the government's house also sang a lot of solidarity songs in support of Governor Seni in the state. They had carried different power cards with different inscriptions where they condemned strongly the alleged financial mismanagement in the state, the abuse of power in the state, and a huge growing debt burden for the past eight years by the Rufai administration in the state. And it would be recalled that the governor of the state, Governor Obaseni, had on March 30th, 2024, disclosed during a town hall meeting that the state faced a substantial debt burden of $587 million and 85 billion naira and other 115 liabilities inherited from the previous administration of Aerofi. This has led to over 70% of the state allocation being used to service this inherited debt in the state. And now this group are calling to the governor that they should stop servicing debts that were not accounted for. They should stop servicing loans that were not accounted for. As mentioned by the Kaduna State House of Assembly, how the Aerofi's administration had dwelled in the mismanagement of funds, the diversion of loans, overpayment of contractors, and the administration of Aerofi lacked transparency in the usage of the state funds. And they have really kicked against it to an extent they were asking for the probe. In fact, they demanded for the probe of, Aerofi, of Aerofi's administration and now the states had endured a lot of financial mismanagement financial uh, mismanagement abuse of power here and there and they are saying enough is enough furthermore they don't want to sit back and watch all these atrocities being committed they have decided to take the bull by the horn although this was a peaceful protest where they assured that they ensure that their message were passed to the governor in the state. So my country people, this is it. This is what is going on in Kano State, in Kaduna State, I beg your pardon, by these protesters who have gone out to the government house, uh, the government house in the state protesting against the administration of the former governor of the state, Erufai. Guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. Hold his son accountable. He is a direct beneficiary. He is also in this government. Soon you will see their counter protest that just like what happened in Kogi State. Mad people pretending to be normal in this country. This Ariwa Wahala, they have come again. Vengeance shall be served to those who share innocent, who take the lives of innocent people. Our leaders are very, very wicked. Please, God, deliver Nigeria from the hands of wicked leaders. Hunger is very, very much in the land and the poor masses are suffering. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. A lot of people are clamoring for the EFCC to invite uh, Erufai for questioning. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section.